All right, my beautiful people, Domani Gemonti. Yes, and Bia France all over the world. The Bodos, we did for our country, for Bia France land, and those we did for a diaspora. I say, make a greet you now. I hello. Happy New Year in advance, and I say compliment of the season. You are welcome to our Confirmento YouTube channel, where they give you the back-to-back -back news and informate as it is hot eh, for Biafra land. Please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification, and um, definitely you will be notified whenever I drop the Confirmento news where they happen for the land. Straight to the matter where I carry on for you because this one, they come from Nigeria military headquarters. Yes, they don't drop another one. Then talk say, na indigenous people of Biafra and Simon Epa, na him be their problem. Oh, eh, they don't come and say, apart from BH, where they terrorize them, the north, eh, the Yoruba nation, where they for southwest. Say na IPOB be their major threat and say my say simon ekpa the prime minister of bridging that their major problem but the reality be say una no say the major problem of nigeria na this wicked politician na the country na him be the problem of the country i hope say you understand what i mean now this ones where they for 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 top where they chop money on daily basis they cause them all kind of propaganda and confusion eh, for the country now them now them be the major problem where this um, the so-called them um, country the so-called contraption eh, called nigeria they suffer as it is hot. But make I go straight to this matter because and this news and something will be say I go like make you put mouth join small eh, so that then eh, people go also here wait till you not get to talk you know for the matter because this matter not very controversial matter and then this matter will carry come for you eh, it they happen now now for the country the news like BH in North Yoruba nation in the South west the indigenous people of biafra are major threats for us in southwest and southeast waiting consai and indigenous people of biafra consign southwest but meanwhile we could still continue nigerian military headquarters don't come out they knock them their fear and their issue will be say then get for 2023 all the whole challenges will then be get for 2023 but make i take make i talk something before i even give you this news these agitators they they don't come out they talk one thing for the country make could give us freedom una talk say una no one give them freedom una equitiri or you release our leader uno una talk say una no go release the leader now what you want me then do you want me then keep short you keep on trampling on them. You keep on making them feel as if they don't belong. Yet you don't want to let them go. Who does that? Who does that, my people? This is the kind of country we are. Nigeria have so, you know, become, become a, 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 a tyrannical country to the extent that, you know, what is remaining in this country is, you know, the, the, the security operatives coming out to kill innocent people in broad daylight where it is already happening. We are seeing it on daily basis. We are seeing it on daily basis. And that is why if they keep on saying these things about insecurity. They pepper me. If they come out, they talk, say, na na epa. They cause the insecurity for, for, for southeastern part of the country. It they pepper me. Because we know the reality. We know, say, now these groups. Now then they cause the insecurity for the southeastern part of the country. It they pepper me where, where. But we should not don't talk. We should not never talk. I don't talk. I don't shout. But yet, in any man can he make but meanwhile, we could go straight to the news because and this one, they come from um, Nigerian military headquarters. Most of them don't call it Woto Woto. Now, why? Fear. They catch them as it be for the issue of um, Biafra freedom. The news in detail. The defense headquarters, DHQ, Abuja, has said it has recorded successes against terrorists, bandits, and other criminal suspects across the nation in the year 2023. 
addressing newsmen during the end of the year briefing on troops operational activities from January to December 2023 on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff CDS, General Christopher Musa, the Director, Defense Media Operation DMO, Major General Edward Buba, stated that the major threat in the Southeast and Southwest was the secessionist stem agitation of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB and the Yoruba nations, respectively. According to Buba, the major security threats within the year 2023 were terrorism and banditry, kidnapping, oil theft, secessionist agitations, and farmers' headers clashes. He added that during the period, troops neutralized them 6,886 terrorists and other criminal elements. Troops arrested 6,970 suspects, rescued 4,488 kidnapped hostages, as well as um, recovered 3,320 assorted weapons and 39,075 assorted ammunition he went further to say additionally he said troops recovered um hundred million three hundred and sixteen thousand six hundred um liters of crude oil sixty million three hundred and thirty nine thousand four hundred and twenty six liters of um ago uh, three million four hundred and sixty five thousand four hundred and fifty liters of dpk and 3,544,990 liters of PMC. The threat dynamics were, however, defined along geopolitical zones with some permitting them across the regional lines. The predominant um, threat in the North, Central, NC, and Northwest, NW, region is armed banditry and terrorism why the bh terrorists slash islamic states where west african province lingering insurgency remained the main threat in the northern east region the major threat in the southeast and southwest was the secessionist agitation of the indigenous people of biafra and the yoruba nation respectively the south south region continued to experience oil theft, courtism, and youth restiveness. However, acts of criminality such as kidnapping and robbery, communal clutches, and cattle rustling were common across the cis geopolitical zone. It is pertinent to point out that most security threats in the country were fueled by the proliferation of small arms um, exacerbated by the influx of illegal arms and ammunition through our porous borders and the preponderance of local arms fabrication factories in this country. Thus, the armed forces' kinetic and non-kinetic efforts were geared towards tackling these threats in all the geopolitical zone. We continue with the news as um, he disclosed further that the security situation in year 2023 has remained fluid, complex, and dynamic with the threat morphing in form and scale. The unpredictable nature of threat and the attendant um, demands for stability has continued to pose significant um, challenges for security forces. Consequences, consequently, various um, forces have continued to evolve tactics, technique, and procedures (TTP) to professionally respond to these threats. The armed forces has been um, developing the desired um, enablers to overcome the country's numerous threats. He, however, noted that the application of kinetic and non-kinetic efforts in collaboration with other services and security agencies has continued to shape the operating environment in which we are in a dominant um, position. And that is how you know, the military have continued to give themselves credit 
this is the problem. You cannot continue to give yourself credit why the people are not really seeing what you are doing. Innocent people on daily basis are being killed, are being tortured, are being uh, kidnapped. Look at what happened um, in Oga this week. Or should we go over to Plateau State? At least over 200 um, bodies have been recorded killed by this so-called BH. These evil people that want to Islamize the country. And the military is coming out here to count, you know, this cause for us. They are coming out here, you know, to say that, that why, why will you even bring up secessionists in this um, issue of insecurity? People who are fighting for the freedom of their people, now the people where they bring out as a problem, when the main problem we will get, they for, 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 for the North. Look at what happened in Plateau State. It shows that the military are not doing anything. Waiting that they do, not boasting, mouth, lip talk, and the only thing we will hear. I'm going to make I no go further for this news. Make I no go further for this talk because if I continue to talk this thing, I'm going to, I know if you finish because I know waiting they happen. But the reality is that um, nothing can stop them um, the Biafran freedom. That's what it be for my mouth. Thank you once again for joining us, wonderful people.